Welcome back to the show. Um, you may be wondering where we are, and we're in this gorgeous <laughs> kitchen. We're with Amy Ritchie, the holistic nutritionist uh, here with us. The kitchen is beautiful. Thank by you the so way. much, Sarah. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's like my dream kitchen. Now, smoothies. Uh, I like talking smoothies because I'm always excited to make a smoothie, and I think I know what I'm doing, but I'm always kind of like, man, I have like 20 ingredients here now. <laughs> what am I doing? Does this, do they make sense? Do they go together? Yeah. How do you make a smoothie? Okay. So there are four components that I think are really important to all smoothies, and sometimes they can be in the same ingredient, but we'll talk about them. So one of them is going to be veggies. Okay. You want to get in some kind of veggie into that. Um, spinach is a really easy one to use. I find the fresh is a nicer flavor than using frozen. I've also used frozen cauliflower in smoothies. Ooh. You can't really taste it. It keeps it a pretty color, um, and it's a nice way to get a different vegetable into there. It's also really great for liver detoxification. Uh -huh. So cauliflower works, zucchini works, some kind of veggie, cucumber, get something into there. So we're gonna use spinach for this one. And how much are you putting in? Um, I'm just going to you know? put a little handful for this one. Um, it depends what else is in it. I have some other sources of fiber that we're going to use too, okay. so I'm going to keep it at that amount, but a good size handful. Okay. Keep it at that for veggies. Um, you want a fat source. So we're going to use about a tablespoon of avocado. Okay. You could also use something like a full fat coconut milk. You could use MCT oil, which is a type of fat. Um, but you want to use a good type of fat. It's going to help with the absorption of some of the nutrients in these other foods. Um, it also helps keep you full longer and it's really good for hormones as well. And you can freeze avocado. You can. Yeah. Yes. I learned that recently. Yes, you can <laughs> freeze it. So we've got our veggie, we've got our fat. Okay. Next is going to be our protein. So I'm going to use a collagen protein powder for that. I'm a really big fan of collagen protein. It's really digestible. It's good for the hair, skin, nails. So okay. we're going to get that in. I like to see about 20 grams of protein in a breakfast smoothie. Um, and then I mentioned fiber. So there's fiber in the spinach, but we're going to double up with some fiber with chia seeds as well. Ah. So chia seeds are also a great source of omega-3, which is a healthy fat. Um, it's very anti-inflammatory, and it's one that we're commonly missing in our diets. And you don't need to soak them in a smoothie? You just, just dump them in. Throw them in. Yeah. All right. I'm glad that you asked that though, because this reminds me, with <laughs> chia seeds, if you make the smoothie and you're going to drink it the next day, it's going to turn jelly with these. Yep. <laughs> so only add these if you're about to drink it, otherwise add right before you drink. Okay. Okay. Chia seeds in. Chia seeds. Check. So these are your essentials. Um, these are your extras. Oh. So we're going to add in some carbohydrate in the form of blueberries and bananas. Okay. Yeah. Blueberries are delicious. Blueberries are delicious. They're very high in antioxidants. They're very low sugar, low glycemic fruit. Uh, so they're a great addition. One of my favorites to add to any smoothie. So bananas, these are a controversial one, right? right yes. They are a higher sugar fruit. So usually I recommend half, especially if my client is using this for weight loss. So that's one of their goals. So a half a banana um, is great in there. It really adds a nice creaminess. And because we have good fiber, protein, and fat, that will help balance out the sugars in that banana. Okay. This is a meal replacement. Okay. If you're doing just to get additional veggies, you can skip some of these things, but we're doing this as if this was gonna be a meal. Right. Okay. okay. So some kind of liquid. I like using unsweetened almond milk. Okay. Um, you can use water. Um, I don't recommend using juice. It no. makes it a sugar bomb. Right. So. so unsweetened almond milk is really nice and creamy in there. Do you make your own almond milk? I do sometimes, okay. I do not always. Okay. So if you're buying it, look for unsweetened um, and also check the back, look for one that's fortified with calcium. Okay. Uh, these are just for, well, flavor, lemon juice, Ooh, fantastic. Lemon. Interesting. Interesting combo here. Mm. And then the last one is cinnamon. This isn't just for flavor, but it is delicious. Okay, tell me more. C cinnamon's really good for blood sugar balance. Oh. So with smoothies, one of the common issues I see is they're just sugar. And maybe you drink it, half an hour later you're starving. Right. So we want to make sure that this is a very balanced smoothie and cinnamon also helps with that. And it makes this taste like cinnamon pie. Cinnamon pie. Cinnamon okay. pie. Okay, all right. So we're going to blend this Let's guy Let's do out. it. I'm excited. Oh, man. I'm excited. So the color of this mm, is not maybe the beautiful smoothie <laughs> color, color you would usually think, but what I would say is that usually if you see a smoothie that's like bright red or bright orange, it's really heavy in fruit and probably doesn't have any greens, oh. and that's not going to be a balanced meal. Oh, right? good to know, because I've made them and they've been brown and like kind of good sludgy looking. You did it right. But, you did yeah, it right. But yeah. they're still delicious. <laughs> so I'm going to pour you some of this to try. Okay. It does taste good, even though, like I said, the color is not... Uh, you know, one of the colors you find in the rainbow. Um, and the amount that we made would be for one meal. That was what I was gonna ask you. Yeah. Like, is this, should I drink this whole thing when I'm 
making it as a meal replacement? Yes, yes that would have been the whole thing. So about 20 grams of protein and then all of the other items that we talked about. And what are the base items you should have in there? Thank you for asking. So veggies, okay. fiber, and often those two can be interchangeable, especially if you're using high fiber veggies like cucumber and kale and things like that. Okay. Fat and protein. Fat and protein. Those okay. are your four essentials. You're usually gonna have to add some kind of carbohydrate in order to make it taste good, um, but that's not an essential in my opinion. Um, it depends who I'm talking to, but usually not essential. Now watching you make that and add those ingredients, I know I've been adding way too much stuff in there. I would not have put a tablespoon of avocado or a tablespoon of this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, like a whole banana or a big chunk of this, a big chunk mm -hmm. of that, and then I'm probably having too much. Yeah, and it absolutely depends on your goals and what else is going on, but that's a pretty average uh, meal to have in the morning. Now, besides a smoothie, what else can I do to have a bit of a healthier lifestyle? So, other than the smoothie, um, I mean, I eating real food is sort of the basics of everything I talk about. That's always where I start. Um, one of the second things that I always go into is mindfulness. So it's really important to slow down around food. Okay. Usually we're eating on the oh, run, we're doing a million things fast. at once, yeah. and we're eating in front of the TV, and maybe the first chip that you eat is delicious. Mm -hmm. And then 10 minutes later, they're all gone, and you yep. don't even remember eating them, <laughs> yep. right? You numb out. Yep. That mindfulness on its own can have such a profound impact on what you eat and how you feel. It really affects nutrient absorption. It affects oh. how long you feel full for. Interesting. Um, it has a really big effect on relationship with food. Wow. So it's something I want to go into with everyone. Cheers. Cheers. This is delicious by yeah. the way. So keep watching Shaw TV. Thank you so much, Amy. You've Thank been you for uh, such me. a wealth of knowledge. I'm so happy we could be in your lovely kitchen here today. So for myself, Sarah Love, and for Janice Gamison, you've been watching Where You Live on Shaw TV. We'll see you next time.